Hey, what's up you guys? Big Time Collector 01 here, back at it again with another action figure review. And today, we'll be taking a look at the DC Multiverse Batman vs. Superman Batman. Wow, this is a long time coming. We've been dying to have this suit from McFarlane Toys, and we finally have it. I got this guy from the big, not big bad toys, so from the McFarlane Toy Store. I pre-ordered him a long time ago. He came out, he came earlier than I expected. He was expected to ship March, but he's shipping out right now from the McFarland Toy Store. I'm pretty sure he's sold out. Got some nice image on the back of Batman and Superman, Ben Affleck, and Henry Cavill. Here's a DC Infinite QR code if you want to scan that. It's also on the side here. So yeah, let's get to it. Oh, here's the barcode. Never want to forget that. Now let's get to it and crack this figure open. And before we take a look at the figure, let's take a closer look at his accessories. He first comes with a basic DC Multiverse base. Then a trading card. I wish they chose a different image. It would have been nice if it was just Batman on the card. Here's a bio on the back. If you want to read it, pause it right now. Out of the package, he comes with these two gripping hands. So he can hold his accessories. That being these two really thick batarangs. I don't understand why these are so freaking thick. Like, just look at that. I wish these were a little thinner, but he can still hold them. He can still hold them, but they're really thick. And he comes with a grapple gun, which is really cool because I've always liked the grapple gun from the B Batman vs. Superman movie, so this is really cool. Then he comes with a pair of fisted hands, and that's really nice. I like all the accessories we get with this figure. Now, let's take a closer look at Batman. Starting off with the head. I think it looks good. A lot of people say it doesn't look like Ben Affleck. I can see where they're coming from, but it's close enough. I mean, hell, it's better. It's way better than this. So, again, they're, make, they're making progress over here already. Moving down to the torso, this is 100% new sculpt, so that's always nice to see. And the paint detail on the front of it looks great. Doesn't continue on the back, unfortunately, but it's fine. It's going to be covered by the cape. But yeah, this paint, like this black wash, looks great with the gray. Love the bat logo, has, has like these scratches on it. And you get like these sculpted wrinkles. It just looks really good. The belt's a nice gold. I really like the gold on the belt. Again, that nice texturing and that paint detail continues down to the legs. And then the boots look really nice too. Looks like a leather, like it's sculpted really nicely to look like leather. Same with the gloves. The gloves just look really nice. Overall, a really good looking figure. Like I said, the back doesn't continue that paint detail. There's a peg hole on the back of the figure that is an indicator for a variant coming up with a plastic cape. But as you can see, he has a cloth goods cape, which is cool. I've always liked to see these cloth goods cape. I can't wait for the later, you know, the more newer McFarlane figures that come with a wired cape. That's going to be cool. Now let's take a closer look at his articulation. Starting off with the head, it is on a dumbbell joint. It can look up that much, it can look down that much, it can rotate all the way around and pivot. Shoulders move up that much, they move down and they rotate 360. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and McFarlane wrist balls that hinge and rotate. The torso can crunch forward that much, it can crunch back that much, it can also pivot and rotate. He gets a good amount of spread on him. Legs can kick forward that much. They can kick back some. Double jointed knees. Ankles that move down. Up. They do rotate. And pivot. And he's got toe articulation. Measuring out Batman here. He comes to around seven and a quarter inches tall. And then bringing in two other Batflex from McFarlane Toys. We have the one from the Flash movie. And then one from the Justice League movie. And it's so nice to see this suit in action figure form. Can't wait to add him with my other movie Batman figures. And then here he is with the Target exclusive Justice League Superman. You know, this is the suit that he wore in BVS. And we desperately need a new Henry Cavill Superman. This one's just way too tall and it just isn't, just isn't that good. So we really just needed a new BVS Superman. And here's Batman up on the rotating base. And I have to say this figure is pretty cool. This is probably one of my favorite figures of the year so far. He's definitely one of the better feeling figures I've handled this year. You know, compared to like the other releases, this 
this Batman is definitely one of the best I've like handled w you know within the year of 2024 and I can't wait to get you know more figures based on this movie hopefully we get a new Superman I really I do like Batman vs Superman I love this suit I'm glad I have it this is awesome to finally get this suit in figure form he comes with a lot of great accessories he comes with new sculpt so it's all wins in my book. There isn't much to say that I don't like about this figure. The main thing I don't like is the thickness on the accessories. The batterings are too thick. The handle on the grapple gun are too thick. It would have been cool if we got some paint on that grapple gun as well. But other than that, this figure is pretty cool. I really do like it. I like the cloth cape. I like the paint apps on the front of the suit. And on the, you know, the texturing on the suit. And on the boots and the gloves. Really cool. It's a great well done figure and it was definitely worth the wait i can't wait to put him up with my other movie batman figures just because you know this is just a pivotal suit that we've been needing for a long time so i'm very happy to finally add it and that's my review you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it because i did enjoy this figure if you guys like this video leave a like comment down below and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one see you